So, I talked about the requirements that Harry and Meghan had to meet in order for them to appear at the coronation. I spoke to a reporter, who was absolutely sure he hadn't been invited to the coronation. Interesting stuff. So he and his colleagues at a major UK newspaper were discussing a press release that Montecito had put out and had on their desks one March evening. Third, this press release is from a Sussex representative. So whoever released this press release was pretty careful not to say I can confirm the Duke has recently received an invitation, and this is something that the press boys are talking about a lot. They are convinced that Charles did not issue an invitation, but instead he is going to extend to them. An olive branch is going to allow them to attend the coronation, and they are also assuming, which is a pretty well-informed assumption that Charles is all the branch, is going to come with some conditions attached. Which of course Meghan Markle is not going to be very happy about, and she'll probably just reject they are also saying that it is not going to be Harry's decision at all, but is not going to have any say in the matter. Well, I have to say, if we take a closer look, this carnation preparation is going to be pretty exciting and I think we'll have a lot of fun, probably more than we thought. And villain D may be trying to get away with it. Bring your kids. I don't believe what they are asking, it's just AG. I think they are losing this game. I also noticed a small pattern in these press releases. It looks like they are doing this from the start to pave the way for Meghan's next lie. I assumed the email wasn't an official invitation, but Meghan and Harry were trying to convey it. You know very well that if they got a real invite, they would use it for Netflix. However, I'm curious if they would cite an email advising them of the requirement to receive a formal invitation, for example, that only members of the royal family have access to the balcony. And now, Meghan, you can't borrow any of the royal gems, they can't get front row seats, and neither Netflix nor your own team are allowed to follow them. Yes you will undergo a recording equipment inspection. It's just Meghan and Harry's game, you want people to ask questions. Won't you be there? See, if people are made to play this game, they will think that the situation is under control. And King Charles will just be waiting nervously for a response, hoping two of the most important members of the family will attend the coronation to make it the biggest event ever even more amazing than her spectacular wedding. I mean, what is the poor king supposed to do with these two? Don't show up. The crowd won't see Rick, just giving Meghan a face, or Harry's glassy eyes. If they don't show up, what kind of drama will happen to stop them from coming to the UK? On the other hand, I wonder if Meghan's publicist can open up her sister's lawsuit against Meghan. Samantha was fired and replaced by Meghan, which obviously didn't happen. Then they could easily make a statement claiming that Meghan and Harry were indeed invited to motor country even though they weren't, and A.B. Ward, he got Meghan. I wouldn't be surprised if the people behind this award gave it to her, because they think she's just a royal with a reputation good enough to be a carnation. But if they found out otherwise that Meghan wasn't even invited to the coronation, they might want to hit the jackpot. Or was it just fake news trying to convince the judge to rule in Harry's favor? In her lawsuit against the Associated Press, it can be argued that the judge in Meghan's forgetting case ruled in her favor because he believed she was a member of the royal family and that they were genuinely in love, however, it is very strange that this PR team is not responsible for spreading so many lies. I am now convinced that Harry and Meghan must be among the most moral people on the planet. I've suspected for a while that they weren't actually invited, and I think the wording is very cautious and no official invitation is mentioned. Kudos to King Charles if it's his terms, and of course Meghan rejects his terms, which is what we all want in the end. Don't we think most of us can agree that would be best? It just doesn't come from either of them. Of course there will be some nonsense from California dot on this day. Possibly the back of the archivist's head with a large birthday cake in the background, although it is very blurry and probably black and white. As usual. Believe me, a coronation isn't like the family celebration Meghan Markle says it is. 
The royals also believe that, for most, invitations to real royal events are one-offs, therefore, invitations are often souvenirs that can be shown to others. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event, no coronation invitations will ever be emailed. Hurry up! This is ridiculous. Both Tweedledee and Tweedle are very narcissistic, and have very narcissistic tendencies, however, their narcissistic behavior is not as important as their small brains. Both are convinced that now that Harry's father is going to be king, that's what makes them so important. I mean, they knew it would go down in the history books, and they thought the history books were really thick. So we have to get there. Look like a narcissist. They know this is going to be a big deal and it will go down in history. So the two of them are convinced they have got to be there and they're going to do something to try to steal the king's thunder on the coronation day, because that's going to get their names written in the history book they believe and also it's going to get them some worldwide TV coverage, which is likely. So how are they going to try and upstate the coronation? I mean, they only have so many tricks in their hat, and I think they've already used every single trick they've got so I don't know what they're going to do but they're going to do something to try to take attention away from the fact that the king is being crowned, because that is what people are interested in seeing. I mean maybe also people want to see if Archie is real or F.A., and I've got a feeling that Archie Fischel is going to be right up there with the two of them front and center, because that is the only card they have left to play, and if they show invisible, well that's going to upstage even Archie. I will not be surprised if they put Invisibad first and foremost. No one knows the children are there until the coronation begins, or they are found. Maybe just a few seconds before the coronation starts, because they'll be like, oh, now all eyes will be on those two kids, not on the coronation of King Charles, or the Queen Consort. Narcissistic people tend to act like this and they don't care if others hate or hate them. They are just about getting attention, and how many photos are published. I can see it right now. It's going to be a circus with three arenas, but you know what? This is why narcissists love King Charles. In fact, you can't win this battle with these daffodils. The best thing to do right now is to walk away and not give up on anything. I know Harry is your son, but he doesn't want to be your son anymore. I mean, I don't think he really was the same person for a long time. Meghan Markle is completely out of her mind, and nothing the king says or does will change the fact that if he backs down a little, they are paying a lot. They will try to destroy everything he has worked so hard for. Harry has already created a rift in the family, so anything the king says or does in front of Beatrice and Andrew will be thrown at Harry, because the narcissist will never let him breathe even for a minute. Sorry. But the king has spent enough time with these two patients that it's time to move on, time to ignore both of them and start focusing on the most important things in life. I mean, King Charles still has a lot of support and love for his family. So why does he care about Harry and Meghan? I know it's sad to cut off my son, but sometimes it's necessary. The more I look at what they did, the less it will affect him. This will eventually cause them to disappear into nothingness. That's where they belong. 